All right, we're live. We're live. Hello, everyone. Well, we learned something new today. If you start your live stream early to make sure that it's working, Amazon might end it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will all see it. Yep, I hit that mute button. Are we on mute? No, we're, we're, we're talking. Oh, I, we're on... I had my laptop going, so you hear an echo in the whole thing. Oh, I see. So... Thank you for joining. <laughs> we're a little flustered right now because we were waiting to to join you guys and uh, we the live stream got killed, so we're starting over again. Uh, so if you uh, went to the other live stream, I hope you make it here. So apologies for that. Let me uh, just uh, finish typing in here. Yeah, it's typing on that little tiny keyboard. All right. So, hi, I'm Valerie, and this is Mark. And I, oh, I want to say hi too. Oh, you want to say hi? Yeah, I think we're all discombobulated <laughs> because of that little little thing where we have to start over oh, again. Oh so. boy. So, um, anyway, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're Valerie and Mark, and we're at my home, and uh, we do a lot of video uh, content here on Amazon, and uh, we review a lot of tech products. So, thank you so much for joining today. Today, we're going to talk about one of our favorite products. Well, a group of products. Group I guess. of products. Smart locks. Yeah, they're all sitting right here in the big pile of locks over here. Actually, we're going to talk about these locks here. You can see they're all boxed up still. And then there's actually three locks we're going to talk about. They're actually installed. Two at our house and one at your mom's. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. so. so if this is the first time you're joining us, thank you and welcome for joining. Welcome to our live stream. Uh, as I said, we do a lot of product reviews and videos here on Amazon, and we do live streams generally every Wednesday at 4 o'clock Pacific. So if this is your first time joining us, welcome, and uh, please follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. Okay. All right. So let's um, see. What, what else are we going to talk about? Well, I think one thing we should do is talk about you know, following us, right? That's true. So uh, if you're new here, we do a lot of video content, like I said. And if you click on the little button there that says view our storefront, if you're watching on the Amazon app, uh, you will see. Oop, wrong one. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Oh, no, you'll see. Live the thing. There we go. There That's go. our storefront. So if you click on that little view our storefront button, you can actually see all of the other videos that we've done um, on Amazon. And we've done pretty much, I think we've done a full review video for almost every single one of the smart locks we're going to show you today, with the exception of one. And that's just because we had a long time ago and we weren't doing videos then. Uh, so uh, you've got our almost our whole history of smart locks here at, at my home uh, today, which is pretty fun. Uh, so why don't you show them the storefront, Mark? Yeah, I think I can I can make that happen. Can you make See, that happen? I can make it happen if I can press the right buttons. That's the big question here. <laughs> okay. So, so this is uh this is our storefront. Uh, where all of our videos are posted. And if you go to that, you'll also see a list of all of the different things that we're showing you today. So this which is on our idea list here. And so this is all the smart locks we're going to show today. Uh, and while you're watching, you'll see you know, when we uh, talk about each one, you'll see them pop up in the carousel. And that will either be under uh, your, your screen or on the side, depending whether you're watching us on your laptop or on your phone or tablet. And uh, anytime you can click on those locks, if you want, you want to go ahead and buy them, please put them in your cart. Uh, that helps us do more live streams. Uh, and if you wonder about some of these and you want to go back and get more information after, uh, you can go back uh, to this to this wish list page or you can come back and watch this again and you can see all of the products we're going to share there. Okay. All right. So what's next? So, well, we're going to talk about different smart locks. So we've actually, our very first smart lock was a quick set lock, and uh, we got that in 2013. Uh, it was pretty exciting because that was a lock that was featured on Shark Tank, which was kind of cool. That was a quick set Kivo. Uh, and, you know, lock technology has evolved a lot since then. Uh, so we're always trying new locks, uh, trying new technology, try a few of these also use touch uh, with your fingerprint. Uh, so we're always trying new things, try to see how they work and sharing all of the results with you here. So we've got a lot of the locks that we've used over the years. One of the locks actually we do not have, because, but it's installed actually at my mom's house. Uh, and it's a lock that we've recommended a lot. So we're gonna share with you a lot of these different locks, try 
to talk about the differences and the features and benefits of each one. And at any time, if you have any questions, you want more information, please jump in and uh, ask us some questions in the chat and we'll do our best to answer them. So do you want to show the one that's at your mother's house? Because I have it queued up. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to start actually with, um, with the Quickset. Let me highlight it here. This is the Quickset Halo. And this is a Wi-Fi lock from Quickset. Uh, and uh, we really like this lock. It's really easy to use. And that's why we installed it at my mom's house. So Mark is going to show you a little clip of a, one of the video reviews we have here on Amazon so you can see it in action. Yep. So here it is. And I'm going to play it. So it's all installed. Now this video is actually, uh, you can actually see this on the product page uh, for that. If you happen to look for it, you'll see us there. And this is the end of it. And uh, basically what's happening is I'm... Uh, doing it. Let me turn off the picture in the picture. But you see what's happening is I pressed it and then I pressed the lock so to show that it locked. And then what happens is, is that when you want to unlock it, it actually puts a couple of characters up front so people can't kind of follow your fingerprints. Like, you know, you get, get soil on the, on the keypad. So you put a couple of characters in and then you punch in your code. And that's a really cool feature because it keeps people from guessing your code right Reading away. the smudges. Yes, reading that the smudges. So, uh, and then it opens up. And then, of course, you also notice it has a key. So, either touchpad or the key, either way. So, let me go back here. And uh, so, that's the that's the lock. And um, so, let me get back to where I was going. And um, so, that's the thing. And there's a, I think what I wanted to find out was I, I wrote down a couple of things. Is we did this a while ago. I mean, how many years has it been? Uh, I think this is at least three... Uh, two or three years old, I think. Something like that. At least, but this is a lock that's been around for a while. It's a great entry level lock because it uses Wi Fi and it's compatible with a lot of different, uh, you know, a lot of different, um, what do you call them? Like lock sets? Yeah, so lock sets. Why don't I show you that here? In the, we open the next that's one. That's true. And I we think we'll the see that. One. So it's got, these quick set halo locks are compatible with a lot of different lock sets. You actually you take out your lock and you you know, you reinstall this lock. Well, you're dead bolt. You're so dead we're going to show that in a second. So we're going to show that in a second. But these are really nice entry level locks because, you know, everyone has Wi-Fi. They're really easy to use. They come with a really easy to use quick set app. And this particular lock comes in matte black, polished chrome, satin nickel, and the one you saw, Venetian bronze. So um, it's a nice lock. It's, it's pretty good. Your mom's using it all the time, right? Yeah. Except that we have to replace the batteries when we visit. <laughs> so it does run a four trip uh, AA batteries. And they last, what, about six months, four to six months, I think, if they're lasting her. And she's in kind of a wintry climate, so I think it kind of impacts it a little bit. So, all right, but next, what are we doing next? Oh, we're going to we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, so I want to clear some stuff up here while you get prepped for that thing and take these things out of the way. And, uh, all right, so this next one is the Quick Set Halo Touch. Now, this is very similar to the Quick Set Halo that we just talked about. Uh, but it actually uses a fingerprint uh, to unlock it instead of that keypad that Mark showed at the beginning. Yep. And it is Wi-Fi, right? I think it's a Wi-Fi thing. Oh, head over to this. Yes, this is also a Wi-Fi lock. It works with the QuickSet app. Uh, the QuickSet app makes it really easy to see the history of who's come in and out. You can easily set up codes for temporary codes for people who are visiting or permanent codes maybe for people that come into your house regularly someone who might clean your house or come in and do some other service uh, for you know relatives you know you can have special codes for them you can also put these codes on a schedule so they can only be used at certain hours it's really easy to use app and it gives you lots of flexibility to to uh, control the access into your home so this is this is the this one here is fingerprint so we just touch the fingerprint and you're in I could probably face it the right way that's it. You just touch that fingerprint reader and it unlocks the door. Uh, or you can use the key. So this one's nice because it works both with a key. But this, what you're doing is you're taking this here, and this goes outside your door, right? That goes there. And then this little bracket here, I've got it kind of, you know, after we take them off our door, I always say, try to save everything. Uh, but you see there's two bolts here that you hook this plate on the back of your door to, to the front to this unit. And then it's sturdy. And it's very solid on there. Now... Before you do that, of course, you've got to prep the door. So if you take off your deadbolt and your door, you're going to find you've got one of these things inside. This is the deadbolt. And what you need to do is replace the one that's in your door with this one here. All right. You definitely want to use the one that comes to the box because sometimes these little things in the back are designed a little differently. And you put that in there. And then 
if you need to, and you don't always need to, you can replace the strike plate that's on the door frame, you know, on the on the on the house, and replace it with one of these. And these are nice because they they're nice and solid and they match the deadbolt here quite well. But what we found is after we've done one, I don't think we've ever switched the plates. I think it's always been the same plate. So it makes installation fairly easy. And then on the back, this would be in the inside of your door. You would see this unit, which is the unit that has all the smarts in it and the Wi-Fi, and you can turn this to lock and unlock the door manually, or you can use the electronics. And the way it works is there's an electronics package. The thing fits on, it hooks on to the back of this here. So if you think about it, it's like all connected into this thing here like this. So inside the house, outside the house, and, uh, and it comes with a battery pack and you just put the four batteries in, plug them in and go through the setup in the app. It's very easy. Every one of these is a little different setup, but it basically you just follow the instructions in the app. And then when you hook this on the inside, you then mount the, the nice shell on the outside so it looks good and you have that handle. So it's really easy to do these locks. It's not, uh, not, a, not a big thing, but we like this one. It works pretty good except one problem. Well, so what I learned, at least with some of the locks, is that the, my fingerprints are not great for opening things. So works for Mark all day long. But for some reason, my fingers, I record them. It works. It works for like a couple days. And then inevitably, like a week later, I try to get in and I can't get in because it won't read my fingerprint. I tried it with different fingers. So it's... Um, this is not a lock for me personally, right. but it is really neat. The fingerprint when it works, works great for Mark. It's worked great for some of our other friends that we've given access to, um, but um, just doesn't work for me. I don't know what the deal is, but what's really nice about fingerprint though, versus those, the keypad is that this is really secure because you know, it's fingerprint. Well, it's, for you, it's very secure. Well, it's, it's very secure to keep me out, <laughs> but I mean, it's a lot more secure than just a code, right? Cause somebody might see your code with a smudge or, you know, there's some, you know, the one we're going to show you in a minute uh, has buttons that start to get kind of worn in. Right. So it, uh, maybe that's a little easier to, to fake, but a fingerprint's pretty hard to fake. Yeah, so so that's this thing, and of course it does come with a key. So if you know you're someone that says, "Hey, I want a key," or the battery dies, and you have your key, you can still get in. So you know, kind of have your options with this. So that's kind of this lock. How this one works? Yep, that right. is a quick set halo touch, and that works with Wi-Fi. It also comes in matte black, satin, nickel, and this one's Venetian bronze. You're going to see a lot of Venetian bronze because that's what we have at our house. Um, but it does come in different finishes as well. Okay, so that's that one. Then, then, these are, no, so these are Wi-Fi. These two, we kind of went through. Yeah, now these these two quick set halos, like I said, they're really great, um, kind of uh, low barrier to entry because they're Wi-Fi, super easy to use. Almost everyone has Wi-Fi in their house, at least I hope so. Yeah. Um, so these are really easy to use. But the next uh, quick set has a lot of different options for locks. And that's one of the things we really like about them. And so the ones that we're going to show you next are actually using a little bit different technology. They're using Z-Wave. Okay. So just like the other one, you'll notice it has all the same parts. You know, I can even take the batteries out of this here. Um, the back plate for this, the, the deadbolt. Now, I have to tell you, if you do switch from one quick set to another, at least they were, these were identical, um, and so forth. And they got all the directions in there and bolts. So I won't go through those again, but this one here, again, this goes outside and you'll notice if I hold it right side up, this one has a button pad. So, you know, pushy buttons type thing. Pushy buttons? Pushy buttons. What, what do I say I'm pushy buttons for? <laughs> well, because they actually kind of, they, they, they're, they're tactical you feel them. that you push them in. So I call them like a keypad as opposed to a touch pad. The other one was a smooth touch yeah, pad. Yeah, they call thing. the other one a touch pad. But this, just like the other one, this has a key lock. So you can use a key or you can use the button. So, and it works just the same. No, really no different. Same plate that mounted on the back, uh, same strike that you would have. And, uh, and then the electronics package. And the difference of course is this one here is what's called Z-Wave. So let me see, is that gonna work if I do this? Let's see. All right, if you can see there's like a little code. And Z-Wave is different, right? So Z-Wave, you need a hub. You know, you might hear things like smart things hubs or whatever else. So if you're a Z-Wave user, this lock works with it. And then through your favorite Z-Wave app, like the Smart SmartThings app, you can set the user codes and everything in here. Whereas the when the Wi-Fi ones, you go in the app on your phone, the app is talking Wi-Fi to the lock and you can set all the codes. 
This one here, you have to have a compatible uh, Z-Wave app, in which case SmartThings is one of them. But yep. most of the hubs, I think, tend to support them. But we know the SmartThings one works because we have this one here. So. Yeah, we know the, a lot of the smart home hubs work with the quick set locks. Of course, you need to make sure before you, you, know, you, you buy one. Um, but the interesting thing about this one, this does not have a quick set app. So the only way that you can access it or change the codes, or lock it or unlock it remotely, is by using your regular smart home app. Um, you know, like this, like the smart things app. Um, and in a way that's really nice because, you know, we all have a lot of apps, uh, running these different things. So it's nice to be able to kind of consolidate it onto one app. It also gives you a, a lot of control. If you have a lot of other things in your home, like maybe you want to trigger a light to come on every time the lock is unlocked or locked. Uh, you could, you know, you could have it make a noise. You could have it, um, you could have it uh, program it to turn you know, to lock at a certain time of day or night. So there's a lot of th things you can do by having a Z-Wave lock and integrating it with the rest of your smart home. Right, I'm gonna so you're going to move I'm that one put over these there. like this because they're cool. You can kind of see it. And then when we recap, we kind of go through That's true. the outside part, which is what you really care about. <laughs> and uh, But you, again, you have to have your own deadbolt. And, you, you know, when you do these things, make sure you check... Uh, with the manufacturer to make sure that your your door will work with it, right? So that's really important. And then follow the directions because there's a lot of directions on them and how to calibrate them and things like that so that they work properly. Yeah. So. so if you're just joining us, we're Valerie and Mark. We're at my home and uh, we're going through today some of our favorite smart locks. Uh, so if this is your first time joining us, welcome. And please make sure to follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live broadcast. And if you have any questions about any of the smart locks, it looks like we're going to have a lot of time for those. So, um, and if you want us to go back and forth to a, to a different one and highlight a different one, we can do that. Um, so right now we have been talking about quick set locks and, uh, this is another quick set lock that uses Z-Wave. I remember when the guy sent us this thing here ready to try out and everything else. And we're like, Hmm, I don't know. But then we installed it and it's really nice. So. It's obsidian, right? So let me take it out here. All right. Well, that one actually has a nice box. Well, because I, was, I wasn't I was leaving. <laughs> and I found that one right away, but the other boxes are hiding behind us in the closet. So, so this quick set obsidian lock, actually, I think of all the locks we've used is my favorite. And not because it works really any differently than the other ones. I mean... It, it works just like that quick set halo or, um, because it's got a touchpad, but I like it because it's really nice looking. It's a very beautiful design. It's, it, is, it is a nice design. So here we go. Look at it. Take it out of the box. So the back is just like the other one. Same, same yeah, design. This back pretty much looks the same on all four of those locks. All right. Let's see if I can get it out of the plastic bag. I can't believe I actually put it back in the plastic bag. I think because it's so pretty, I don't want to have anything happen to it. So, so we can't power it up. Okay, here we go. I'll explain this in a second here. Let me take you still have the batteries in it. I still have the batteries. Matter of fact, if you look at the batteries, see, you know they tell you always take the batteries out of things you're not using. Well, if you look carefully, you'll see a little bit of uh, Why are you corrosion. Uh, corrosion in because I didn't take them out of here. You better. So take it's the good that we're doing out. this show because now I can take these batteries out and clean it <laughs> off. So, but yeah, here it is. So this is it. Now we don't always power it up, so um, you can't see it, but it's just like the other lock, touch lock. Um, it has, you know, the numbers on it and the lock and unlock buttons. And that's it, though. It's really... It's, yeah, well, this is why nice. I love it, because, like, look how pretty. It's just like this pretty, smooth... It's a little dirty, actually. Maybe we should have watched it. Wiped it I don't off. think they're seeing the smudge um, on the thing. But you should put the overhead camera on. So I can. I can put the overhead camera on. Let me see. Was this the overhead one? There you go. Let's see, yeah. look, I mean, it's so nice. It's just this nice, you know, dark square. It doesn't look like some tacky, techy thing. So I just think it's really- Tacky, techy thing? <laughs> I just think it's a really beautiful design. It's very sleek and uh, kind of timeless. So I, I think it's a beautiful lock. Here we can it's put us on there so you can see us too. Definitely my favorite. So this is cool. So same thing, you got the, thing to turn it and everything else is the inside case and then here are the electronics again is slightly different than the other one you know it's a, I think it was a little newer uh, but hooks up the same way 
where this is in the back, these things go in the, the inside of the house, and then this thing goes on the outside. So I guess we're looking at the overhead camera, so they're here. Um, these little rings here, I think I suspect the... Oh, what are those for? Well, so if you, when you put the lock in, you know, you have a little hole where the lock goes, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if depending on the size of the hole, you might need one of these adapter rings to give it stability. Oh. And uh, now our house, we don't need them. It, it, it was fine. I think I needed one of them. I think one of these is extra. Um, anyway, we, we have to use it because we have the larger opening size, but if you have the smaller one, then you don't need to use it. Oh, so interesting. They'll tell you what to do in the, in the directions and just follow through and do what they say. <laughs> and it should go well. But you see, again, same the deadbolt's the same thing. I actually taped the screws on it, so if we want to reinstall it, I got them right here. So. so again, this is a Z-Wave lock, so it does not come with its own app. So if you want to use this quick set Obsidian lock with Z-Wave, you need to make sure that you have some other smart home hub that you're going to connect it to. And that's how you set up your codes and that's how you do any kind of other automations with your smart home. Yeah, just get prepared to have batteries because it does take four. These they all take uh, four. Yes, uh, all of these quick set locks we showed you, they take four AA batteries. And over the years, they've, the battery life has improved a lot. Oh, a lot, yeah. A lot. I would say that the Z-Wave locks have a little bit better battery life than the Wi-Fi ones. Is that right, Mark? Oh, the Z-Wave definitely. But the whole idea of Z-Wave is low power, right? So they typically yeah. will last longer. But, you know, it comes down again. Uh, it really comes down to, like, how many times you lock and unlock the door. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you're you know, going in and out a lot every day, multiple people putting in multiple codes, your batteries are going to go by. Or their batteries are going to um, uh, go away Go quickly. away <laughs> quickly, right? And the, app, and the apps will tell you, right, if it's running low. But I've got to tell you, you just want to check because it can go pretty quick. So always when you do these locks, you know, kind of come up with a schedule of it and be prepared. So, I don't know how All right, so if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining. We're Valerie and Mark. We're at my home, and uh, we do a lot of tech reviews here on Amazon. If this is your first time watching our live stream, please click the follow button. Uh, we'd love to see you on another live broadcast. And today we're talking about smart locks. And uh, we've tested a whole bunch of smart locks mm -hmm. over the years, and we're going through some of our favorites today. We just covered four different quick set locks. And now we're going to go a totally different direction, and we're going to talk about the SwitchBot lock. So this is cool. I haven't even installed this. Yes, yet. this is so it. new that we haven't actually installed it. We haven't yet. actually installed it. It's got it is funny. Venetian bronze, though. It is. And then we'll, we'll, we've got a bunch of boxes here for this, for reasons, right? So here it is. So the other ones, you had to remove your deadbolt, right? Right. But this one... You, they give you a little wet wipe, and I'll explain what that is in a minute. And this one here is a lot different. And what you'll find is, actually, let's do the overhead again. I think that would be probably useful. Yeah, I think the overhead will be useful. For folks. So this is that. a great lock if you actually don't want to take out your existing lock set, or maybe your existing lock set isn't compatible with the lock you're you're trying to, to choose. So like just like the other ones, it's got the little knob, the twist, to, to lock and unlock. But... On the other side, this little thing here, I don't know if you can tell really from the... It actually grips the lock. Yeah, just you leave your deadbolt right on there. You, you, don't, your, yeah. you don't take it off. And this thing just fits over it like your fingers would. And when it turns, it turns the lock. I mean, it's so simple. And this little sticky thing over here is 3M tape. And basically, you just stick this on the door with this over the deadbolt. And... Uh, and it stays on. And then there's a battery pack in here. And then you just control it. Now this one here is actually Bluetooth uh, a lock, all right? Uh, but that's the lock here, and it comes with everything you need to install it. They even give you the, look, look at this, they even give you the screwdriver. They give you the screwdriver. Uh, because there's a, um, a little bracket here, and if I were to take the cover off, let me see if I can do it here. If I take the cover off, you'll see there's these screw holes here, right? And they're on both sides. And what you do is you adjust this bracket in or out depending on how deep your deadbolt uh, handle is, right? So if it has to move out, you can adjust that bracket. And then they give you these really nice batteries in here. Yeah, I'm, those, I'm are, installed. those are not double A's. They're not double A's. They're like, uh, I think they're like a CR. A CR-123A, three volt batteries, and there's four of them in there. So uh, I like these kind of locks. We had another one like this a while back. And... Uh, they're really nice. It works really well. And I never get the thing to stop on there, right? 
Okay, so that's it. It's very nice, nice looking and everything else. And so this is nice because what if you are renting or something, you can't remove the deadbolt. Yeah, or what if you just don't want to remove the deadbolt? Or you just don't want to bother because it's a lot easier to do this. This is a sticky thing and then pair it with an app. So um, the thing is that, uh, you know, they come with an app, all right? And it's Bluetooth. So you get the SwitchBot app and it'll talk to the lock and uh, you're set. Now, thing is you kind of wonder well yeah but how do I unlock from the outside so if you get the model we're showing you here this one comes with an accessory oh yeah this one comes with a little pad with a pad with your favorite thing on it so this one here <laughs> it's got push buttons the little little buttons here that you can use pushy buttons pushy buttons pushy buttons well, are those oh. pushy buttons or are those those are pushy buttons they're like little well, you I don't know I feel think the pushing. clips that had pushy buttons these well, are, these are not quite buttons. as these are yeah these are more tactile but they're not a touchpad but there is also a fingerprint reader on it oh. so that's kind of nice right the fingerprint reader makes it nice and this you this you just basically they give you a mounting bracket here and you just stick it on the outside of your door either on the wall or on the door itself and it knows how to talk to the door lock so you're outside, you can punch in your code or use your fingerprint and unlock the door with this unit here. So that that is really nice. Well, the other thing about this lock, too, is it doesn't change anything on the outside, right? That's right. Nothing so this just goes them. on the inside, and it's turning your lock, you know. You only can't oh. see it with your overhead. Yeah, so this is just goes on the inside. So the outside actually looks exactly the same. So you don't have to change out your key. You don't have to change yeah, out your existing right. lock. It just yeah. stays there. Nobody knows you have a smart lock except for you. Ooh, that's right. So that's kind of cool. I, <laughs> I forgot about the key is there because that was what you had, yeah, right? That's so what whatever you have. You and so you don't even need this pad. This is optional, but you know we. One of the benefits of having a smart lock is you don't have to carry your keys around, right? Right. And the thing is, and then it's fingerprint or or a code. Uh, or your smartphone, right? So if you don't put this outside, you're going to have to use your smartphone to unlock or your key. So Ooh, so key. that's kind of thing to keep in <laughs> mind. Now, but like these other ones over here, the ones that work with Z-Wave and, and, and Wi-Fi, uh, you know, using those apps, you can remotely lock and unlock the doors anywhere. This one here, of course, is Bluetooth, so you can't. You can only do it if you're close by with your phone to, to lock and unlock it. Unless you pick up this guy, which is the SwitchBot Hub, and this is actually the newest model that just got released, I think, like now. Um, in uh, actually, I have it right over here. And this hub, did you put the hub in the? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's in there. You can actually click the button. No. Nope. And this is their new new hub. And I'm going to turn it over to regular picture here because I think you can see it here. But basically, this is the, what they call their hub two. They have a hub one. They just came out with a new Hub 2. This one here actually will work with Matter, but we're not going to talk about Matter here. But it's uh, we actually have it hooked up right now with um, to the Wi-Fi and also to Matter. So that's kind of neat. We're starting to play with that. But this is a, uh, a, a thermometer and a hygrometer. Did they say it correctly? Hygrometer? Like, yeah. Hygrometer, right? Yeah, I think so. So it's kind of cute. It's got a little stand, a foot stand on it you can use. Uh, and then you just plug it into this cable, which is a USB-A to... Uh, you, I don't remember if it's USB-C or I don't want to unplug it, but, um, you just plug it in here and it's, that? it's, I touched the button oh. there and, but it shows you the temperature, it tells you the humidity, uh, it has an on off button, which is kind of cool. But most importantly, when it, we're talking about the locks here is it talks to the internet, which means that wherever you are in the world, if you're on the internet with your phone in the SwitchBot app, you can talk to this door lock and you can lock it or unlock it remotely, but you do need the hub to do it. Right. I don't right. think it works without it. No, it doesn't. It's okay. Bluetooth. Okay. So this provides a bridge between Bluetooth in here and Wi-Fi out there. So this thing is nice. It's a nice little, it's not yep. very heavy. And look at this. This is the temperature sensor. This little thing here that, that plugs in. thing right there. Yeah, this does the temperature and humidity. It has little little holes in oh, it for cute. measuring it. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. It's, so this is their new their new hub that goes that you can use with this. And of course, the nice thing with SwitchBot is it's also, they have all sorts of sensors. They have open door sensors and so forth. And cameras and stuff. And actually, if you follow us, you'll be able to watch us next week when we do a whole live stream on SwitchBot. That's right. That's right. Next week's the SwitchBot. Yep. So next week, we're going we're gonna to highlight all the different SwitchBot products, including go into more detail in this Matter Hub. Okay. Does that make sense? Hub 2. All right. So that is... That's this a switch bot. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Hold on, I gotta set up pretty stuff here. 
Who knows? Is it going to sit up nice and neat? Eh, probably not. So we're going to have to look at it that way. And then the, the keypad goes with it. Okay, and the hub. I can leave it right here because it fits nice. And these other boxes, I can remove them. I think you should move that hub over. I will. Just let me let me get the box in. Where are we going? <laughs> what are we doing next? We are doing next. We're going to do a field trip. Oh, the field trip. That's right, because we're... Ah, that's right. Because the next two locks we're going to talk about are actually installed in our house. So uh, we didn't want to rip them out. So we're going to take <laughs> you downstairs to show them in action. You wanted to leave that. Uh, you wanted the house to be uh, locked up, huh? Yeah. So they're locked right now. Yeah. Well, let me do my thing here before you go running off. What so the next one we're going to talk about is the Wise Lock Bolt. Uh, this is a lock from Wise. Uh, and it works with a lot of different products in the WISE ecosystem, including this doorbell that we're going to show you in a minute. The doorbell. I'll put it here, just so we can kind of go. I was up. waiting for you so. to get it out of the box, but I forgot it's downstairs. It's downstairs, <laughs> and you're going to go on a field trip, and we got to figure out our field trip. So you need to put this on. Clip that sucker on. All right, on. I'm going to put on my microphone, and then Mark's going to give me the camera, and I'm going to go on a field trip. Okay. And I'm going to go to the app, which I have. We really like this Wise Lock Bolt. I think this was this the, uh, I don't This one has a keypad and a fingerprint, um, like some of the other locks we showed you. Does it have a key, too? No, does not have a key. This one does not have a key, so if that's important to you, you don't want this lock. Uh, but anyway, so this is the Wise Lock Bolt. It, um, it like I said, it has a keypad and a fingerprint. And it works with the WISE app, and it works with the WISE ecosystem. Okay. Are you going to show this little app I'm gonna before show the, we go? I think we can do that before the show, yeah. So before I go downstairs and show you this, uh, the lock in action, Mark is going to show you how it works in the app. So, so this is the this WISE is the app. app. And it, I don't know why, but it comes up and shows you uh, the history. So you can see all the history locked, unlocked, by whom, and so forth. And then I can just press this button here. And uh, you probably can't hear that, but the lock just unlocked. We can hear it. <laughs> right? so you're seeing it here. We can actually hear it from here. Um, actually, this is interesting because, you know, the different noises the different locks make. Some are quieter than others. Some are faster than others. This wise lock bolt is fast. It's very so fast, but it's also I'm going to lock it, and boom, it's locked. So this thing is really fast. It looks good. Well, you can make your own judgment when Valerie goes and shows you the lock. Um and it works great. So I, you know, no, no complaints. This lock. We're kind of at the edge of, um, of the wife, uh, the Bluetooth. So it is a Bluetooth lock though, and it only works with the app. So uh, what you're seeing on the app now is it's not showing it connected because it's have, struggling to keep the Wi-Fi because we're on like on the other side of the house. And um, so okay, so actually it worked pretty good considering how far your phone is away from it. Exactly, exactly. So uh, if I could go back into the app just for fun here. Oops, that's the sense thing here. Always like bolt. Okay, we'll connect it back up. All right, are you almost ready for my field trip? I think we're ready for a field trip. So either this thing's not talking to this thing right now, or, um, or the batteries have died. <laughs> I hope one the of, batteries aren't going to die. That's one or the other, we're going to find out what's going on. But um, okay, so I think it's time for your field trip. So let me, I got to get you set up to do the field trip. Hold on a second here. So we've done these field trips a couple of times. It's kind of fun to go and show you products in the rest of the house. This is the first time we're going to do it with actually you can hear me talking. So hopefully that everything goes well. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. And uh, we don't want the music on here. We want this on here. There you go. And we're going to, nope, I'm going to switch this over to us. You don't need to see all that stuff. You don't need the picture in picture either. Yeah, probably not. Okay. All right. So, boom. So, look at that. So, you can see everything. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let's see. I can... Uh, no, you can't. You can't because it's not on yet. All right. I'm going to show you on. Okay. Bye. See you in a minute. Okay. And I got your... Uh, I'll turn your volume on when it's time. So, Valerie's actually using the phone I used to talk to the lock. So, it's kind of interesting. So, and she's going to find out if the batteries are dead or not. We're going to find out. So batteries last a long time in this lock, by the way. I, I'm pretty impressed. And um, so, all right, there she is. Okay, I'm going to put you on. All right? Okay. So, let's see. I need to be on here. All right, Valerie just went in the laundry room where that lock is. That's the back of the lock. And uh, Valerie, you should be able to talk. 
Okay, so here is the wise lock bolt. This is the back of the lock. So you can see how it's installed. This one has kind of a little rubber gasket that goes along the door here on the inside. Now I'm going to unlock it. Okay, then here is the lock that we see from the outside. So you can see it's a nice Venetian bronze and it's got this rubber gasket along the edge here. So it fits nice and sug, snug. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it. So you can lock it with this button here. The batteries are going, so that's good. So um, Mark can unlock it with his finger. Doesn't work for me. Um, I don't know why, but uh, you can also unlock it with the keypad, which is pretty nice. And so you just have a code. You can set a code between four and eight numbers. So let me just do it with the code. And so you can see it's pretty easy to unlock both with the finger if it works for you and with the keypad. And it's not too loud and it's actually really fast. So that's it. That is the wise lock bolt. Now, the nice thing about this lock is actually I have what's, it has what's called auto lock. So uh, when you close the door, you don't have to lock it yourself. And whatever, I probably have it like three to five minutes. It'll automatically lock itself, which is really nice. The other thing is you probably watch that code and said, oh, we know the code to get in their house. Well, guess what? You can actually set the codes and set them to expire. So after the show, those codes will, uh, the code that was used will go away. But those are kind of nice, right? Because if you give somebody the the thing. Now, uh, Valerie, what are you showing here? Uh, this is the uh, chime for the Wise lower. Doorbell Pro. You get a little lower. There you go. Yep. All right. So that's it. So the reason that's important is the fact that we have this. Uh, let me go picture in a picture now here. Um, we have the, the Wise uh, Doorbell Pro. And I'm going to turn off your microphone, Valerie. Okay. And um, so the cool thing about the uh, the Pro, oop, hold it up right here. This 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 lock, I actually like this. So this is a the Wise uh, Doorbell Pro. It has a battery in it, but it also works wired. So on the back here, you can see there's wire connections from your doorbell. So you can power it up from your doorbell wiring, or you can power it up from the battery. So uh, this is kind of a nice little thing. It's got a little bracket that holds it on. So you just mount this bracket on the on the wall and uh, over either over your doorbell wiring or if you don't have doorbell wiring, wherever you want to put it, then you just hook it on the, onto this bracket and you're all set. Now, the, um, the th reason we wanted to show you this today was yesterday they just did a <laughs> firmware update. And um, I've got to try to get this thing to work here for a second. I'm going to switch back to my phone and uh, hopefully this will this will show yeah, better dis disconnect it first connect to what disconnect it. oh yeah yeah i'll take care of that um, okay so uh, da, da, da. Is it? all right in the meeting okay now my phone's back under my control um okay what are showing here got that got that Everything seems to be working fine there. Okay, so now what I want to show you. Phone's not working. Yeah, it's okay. We won't show it. So um, let's see if I can get it to go. So sometimes. A lot of toys here. A lot of toys. And sometimes what happens is the toys don't talk to each other. So being able to hook up the, the screen, uh, it, uh, it's always kind of a pain in the neck. So let me see if I can get it to go. If it doesn't go, we're going to have to show it by hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can only do this thing. <laughs> So let me try one more thing. If that doesn't work, I'm going to show it to you manually. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. All right. So it's not going to, it's not going to be cooperating with us. So what I'm going to do is open up the wise yep, app. The iPhone likes to project until you disconnect it. Yeah. So it's kind of like the little thing. I think it has, we have this, this uh, thing called a switcher and 
Maybe, um, maybe you should put it on the overhead. That might be easier I'm gonna, to see. Yep, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get it set up first. So, so the Wise Lock Bolt uses Bluetooth. Uh, so that means that you can get in with the with the fingerprint, with the with the touchpad, or you can unlock it with your phone if you're close to it. Um, but if you want to uh, unlock it over the internet, like Mark said, Wise just started this new feature. So see, this is the doorbell, right? So imagine, you know, imagine we're at the door, right? Ta-da, we're at the door. And, uh, but in reality, the person's at the door and you happen to be like, you know, hundred miles away visiting somebody, right? And so, well, geez, I'd like to be able to. Are you going to let me in? Let me in. Let you in. So I can press this little button here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, this little button here. I can press that. And what's going to happen is it's going to go through that door, that bell you saw that was plugged in the, the wall. The chime. The chime. And it's going to open up the door. That's assuming everything works. And I just heard it make the sound. Oh, you know what? What? It wasn't locked. <laughs> oh, it's not locked? It's not locked. Well, we can fix that because we can go back in here and let's hope this app is working. So now. that's so that it got confused because the lock wasn't locked. I oh, didn't lock it. Didn't lock it. So we'll see if the Bluetooth is going to connect up. I love demos, you know, when you're doing things. There we go. Okay. So we're going to say lock. See, it's unlocked. So lock it. So just lock. We heard a lock. It's okay. locked. Oh, that's good. So now it's locked. Good thing you noticed that. Yes, because the one thing that's kind of interesting about this little feature they added, uh, let's see, i got to find the doorbell. Um, so we're back to the Is it only unlocks the wise lock bolt? It doesn't lock it. Now I'm going to do it again. Ready? Hi, let me in. All right, I'm doing it. Is it going to work? What do you think? I don't know. Not sounding good. Oh, okay. It unlocked. We unlocked it. Okay, so, so we can... So just can... like unlocking it over the internet. Yep. So let's see, where is the uh, lock here? So we look in the lock and it'll connect back up. And it's unlocked, as you can see. So oh, the demo worked, a miracle. <laughs> so you imagine we just set this up yesterday, but it's really nice because before we have this uh, on one of our doors, it was nice when you're local and everything else, you can lock and unlock the door, but then you can do what's called auto lock. So after a certain time, but we couldn't unlock it. So if we weren't home and someone came by and needed to drop something off and drop it in the house, you know, we were kind of stuck. And so, um, so what we did was with this thing here with the doorbell is now if someone comes to the door, we can go, oh, we can unlock for them. And then when they leave, because we have auto lock on, it'll automatically lock itself. So I think that's a nice feature that they've added. Yeah, it's to a really the nice system. feature to add to the system and it encourages you to have more wise products. Exactly. So it's good for everyone. Exactly. So so that's how that works. I think, you know, that is just a really cool, it is um, a really neat really feature. cool feature and everything else. And the, like I said, this, this, the doorbell is really good. And it also works with, uh, Ooh, I won't say it too loud. Hold on. I got to mute. I had the mute Alexa. It you, works with Alexa. It looks like you can watch it on the, uh, if you have a, one of those show uh, versions of Alexa, you can watch it on there. So that's pretty nice. Very nice. This is very nice. And the battery lasts a long time in this sucker. I don't know what it is, but. You know, when we test the uh, doorbells, for example, we <laughs> usually have one wired up and one one not wired. So uh, both of them are there, and when when people come by to ring the doorbell, we always like to see which one they're gonna which one they're gonna ring. Which but, one do they choose? But when I had this on the not wired uh, mode, uh, it lasted a long time, so pretty pleased with that. All right, so did we get through all of that? All right, we have gotten through all those locks. So if you're joining us, thank you so much for joining. We're Valerie and Mark. We're at my home. If this is your first time uh, watching our, one of our live streams. Please hit the follow button so you can find out the next time we're on. And uh, today we're talking about some of our favorite smart locks. And so we've covered a bunch of them up to this point. And we just talked about how the Wise Lock Bolt works with the Wise Video Doorbell Pro. And now we're going to show you a, a Eufy smart lock that is a video doorbell and a lock all in one are you all wired up and still? i'm gonna go on another field trip to another show you how trip. it works so we just got this we just did a review we finished it last week so it's up on amazon if you want to watch the full detailed review but i'm gonna go on a field trip and i'm gonna show it to you in action so careful on the one you're doing it because uh you were a little high on the other one so oh. watch my lenses and you'll know where it's at oh, so the okay. one thing about this little remote feature that that you have on ios is it doesn't um, you can't see what you're showing. So you have to guess where the camera angle is and so forth. So 
And Valerie's going to go on that field trip again. But this lock is really cool because it's, it's a lock. It's a doorbell. It's a video doorbell, right? Mm -hmm. I miss anything? I think I got it all. Mobile, you're going to show everybody, I'm right? Show it. So, and it's going to make the Alexas go crazy. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of sound effects. <laughs> All right, so Valerie's down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to you, Valerie. Right. Are you ready? All right, ready. switching to you. I'll put myself in the pick to pick if it holds up long enough. And your microphone is on. All right, here we are. This is our front door. This is the Eufy Security. What is it? I think it's called the See Everything Smart Lock. That's correct. Did you switch? Is it switched to it on the carousel? Oh, let me make sure. I uh, believe so. Yeah. Yep. All right, so here it is. So I'm going to unlock it, and it's going to go crazy. So see how it goes. So there it is. Yeah, a little down a little bit. You're missing it. There you go. Motion detected at the front door lock U5. <laughs> Motion detected at the front door lock U5. Now you see, if I was smart, I would have silenced the notifications. But as you can see, it talks right through, uh, right through Alexa and lets you know what's going on. All right, so here it is. So it's uh, it's really nice. It's got this really nice, smooth keypad, kind of making it go a little crazy little here. Down a little bit on the picture there. What? You gotta push down a little bit. You're not seeing the whole camera. There you go. That's it. You got it off. All right, and it's also a doorbell. So if you want, I can actually push this. And it comes with a chime that's on the wall. So. Someone is at the front door lock U5. All right, and then under Someone here. Front door lock U5. There's actually, this is a little secret panel, and there's your key. So that's pretty neat. Let me push that back in. Ooh. Ooh. Of course, it means that when you try to push the thing back in, it's going to ring your doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's it. So this one actually works with my fingerprint. It's up here on the top. Well, it works sometimes. Let's see if it's going to work today. Good. Can't see the lock. Still can't see the deadbolt. You're too high. There you go. Try it again. For some reason, this one actually likes my fingerprint. Now, it didn't like my index finger, but it seems to like my thumb. So, so far, so good on this one. Uh, and you can also, of course, use a code. Oh, I gotta lock it first. Yeah, you're still too high. I'm too high. Yeah, you can't see the you can't see the lock yeah. if you're doing it when you're doing it. So, but I think we saw you enter the numbers in, so I think it was good. All right. And it has the camera. It also has a camera. The camera's right there. So you can see that. That's how it's doing the video doorbell. And I'm going to shut the door again. One of the other things I really like about this is that it's really quiet. I mean, we could hear the wise lock bolt upstairs. You can't hear this one lock. It's so quiet. I don't know if I can really show that. No, probably not. I th we could hear the lock doing its thing when you were down there, though. Yeah. Yeah, your microphone was picking it up. So. So this is it. This is the Eufy See Everything Smart Lock. It's really cool. It's all in one unit. And when we first got it out of the box, we thought it was kind of big. I mean, it is kind of big, but it looks great on our door. Um, and it's super quiet. This one's different because I don't. Can I? I don't know if I can take out the. You battery probably can lock. if you want. Just pull up on the on the thing. I'm kind of gonna push up on it. Can you do it or not? No. Yeah. Don't bother then. I have to do it with one hand. Anyway, this actually uses its own batteries uh, that they provide you a battery pack that you have to recharge. Uh, and uh, so that's kind of interesting. That's a little different. Yeah, it's a USB-C charger on it. So it's just a nice little battery pack and you just plug it in uh, every once in a while and you're all set. It also has a USB-C connector on the outside. So if you happen to lose power on the doorbell, you can plug in one of those power bricks to the thing underneath on the very bottom. Yep, oh, there yeah. you go. I don't you think got you it. can yeah. see it, but there is a... So there's a spot for it. 
There's someone always at our door when you open it up. All right, so that is the Eufy Smart Lock. Yep, and uh, it has uh, it keeps track of all the all the video and everything else is stored inside of the door lock, which is really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to me here in the studio, and uh, turn off your microphone. Okay, wow, so that's pretty nice. That's uh, that's pretty nice. I, I like that. I like that uh, this lock. So. I think if uh, what would you say? I guess I look at this and say, well, I like the Z-Wave stuff. The you know the Obsidian one is really nice. It's really cute and everything else. Um, but I think that when I look at the locks, I guess I would say that probably my favorite one is actually the Wise bolt lock bolt. And I don't know. I like the, yeah because it's fast and simple and easy, right? And now with the doorbell thing, it's really cool. And then. We just got this. They just sent us the lock. Yuffie just sent us the lock that you just saw, the the video one. And I like that a lot, right? Uh, but it's I think it's good for the situations. If you want to just replace the deadbolt on your door and have everything all in one, it's a great lock for that. Yeah, it's a great lock for that. And like some people don't have a regular doorbell. Um, so if you, you know, and it's hard to replace it with a smart doorbell. So this gives it to you all in one. Um, some people also have a weird angle where their doorbell is and they can't really see. Uh, this one gives you a nice straight, straight on camera view from the doorbell. So, you know, all of these are really good locks. They're all solid. We like all of them. Um, and, but it just really depends on your situation. But the thing I like best actually about this Eufy lock is that it's super quiet. <laughs> super. Super quiet. Super. Because some of these locks, they're, you know, it's actually kind of nice because you know they're locked, but they're loud. <laughs> <laughs> this Eufy one is by far the quietest smart lock we've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So I think that's so all that's the locks, it. Right? That is all the locks we have. Um, that's all the locks we are going to show you. That's all the locks we, that we're going to show you today. That were, by the way, very nice. We had one that unfortunately they, there was a great cause it was a home home kit one, but uh, they don't, I don't, we don't seem to find it anymore. Yeah. The so. home kit one we had, we really liked, but I don't think they, it's probably not for sale anymore. I'm not sure it's for sale anymore. And there are other, which is other too brands. Bad. There's um, other brands that sell. Yeah, there's kits. other brands. And we really liked having a home kit lock. And so if you're watching this and you have a home kit lock you want to send us, we'll be happy to do another review on that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let's look at what we have. We have the one that was at your mom's house. All right. So let's go back and start at the beginning. We're going to show you the different locks that we reviewed today. All right, so that was the one from your mother's house, right? So yep, the, so the first one we showed you was the Quick Set Halo. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi lock. It works with the Quick Set app. It's really easy to use, really easy to set up, and really easy to create codes and share them with your friends and family that might need to come in your house. Um, we really like this lock. Um, it's actually the one lock we don't have here, um, but it is installed at my mom's house. So oh, let me see, I can put it back so, on here with you real quick. This is the review video that you can find. If you go to the product page here on Amazon, it comes right up at the, at the bottom of the uh, product page. So you can see the full video here. And this was from Mark installing it at my mom's house. Yeah. So this actually was kind of cool because it, I go through the whole thing. You see, I start out the video uh, doing, doing the install. So it's pretty cool. Yep. So um, that's a, that's a great lock. The quits at Halo touch. We've recommended that to a lot of family and friends. Uh, so it's a really solid choice. We love that lock. And, and, you know, if you want to get one of these things, it's right in the carousel. Just go ahead and click on it and uh, put it in your shopping yeah, basket. Put it in your shopping cart. And um, there we go. The next one we showed you is the Quick Set Halo Touch. We actually have this one upstairs. This is the same type of lock. It uses the same Quick Set Halo app. It's Wi-Fi. Um, but instead of a keypad where you put in your numbers, it's got a fingerprint. Fingerprint reader. And it really works well for me. And it comes with a key, so you can yep. use a key. Actually, both of those, the Halo and the Halo Touch, both have a key. And it weighs a lot. So. <laughs> well, I think you want, you know, I think it, you know, when you get stuff that weighs a lot, it kind of feels like I'm getting something It's substantial, substantial yeah. So then the next two Quick Set locks that we shared, uh, both use Z-Wave. Uh, this is the newer one. This is the Quick Set Home Connect 620. Um, and push buttons with what push, call them? Pushy. Push, pushy buttons, pushy buttons. That's what it pushy buttons. This one is the latest generation of Z-Wave technology. So it's a little bit faster, a uh, little bit better battery life, um, than the quick set obsidian, which is a little bit older. Uh, but this is really nice. It also has a key, um, but with, uh, 
these Z-Wave locks, you don't get a companion app. You need to use a compatible smart home hub. Uh, we use smart things for ours. So that was the Quick Set Home Connect 620. And this, my favorite, is the Quick Set Obsidian. It's this nice, beautiful, shiny well, we can, well, black. I can see the, the lights if I can do it right. You can is see that, well, light. I guess it's Venetian bronze. See, like it's reflecting the light in the ceiling. I love it because it looks really nice. It's very it stylish. Uh, and when you uh, actually tap on it, when it's installed on your thing, then the numbers come up. So it's nice. It just looks very... Um, very stylish. Very elegant. Very, Very elegant. Stylish. And it's really strong. And oh, by the way, it also has terminals in the bottom if you have like a 9-volt battery, you know? Oh, yeah. You can connect it up that's here. That's your emergency That's entry. your emergency entry thing. And that's important. You know, when you're doing this stuff with it, don't have keys, for example, you may need that. Yeah, you need to have a backup high, way right? to get back in. So that's the Quick Set Obsidian. Um, and that one is also a Z-Wave lock. So you need to have a compatible Z-Wave hub to use that one. Uh, then we showed you the SwitchBot Smart Lock. This one's really neat because you actually don't need to change the lock out at all. You don't have to change anything on the front of your door. You don't have to remove the lock or put any other mechanism in. You just put this right over your deadbolt and the the quick set or the sorry, the switch bot app and this little mechanism in here manually open and close your lock for you. Well, it's electronically open. Electronically and manual. As if it was manual. Yes. Yeah, so a, a little robot, basically. It's basically a little robot that's going to open your lock. And it you. comes with uh, those uh, those CR-123 batteries. Yep, this comes with the batteries. And you can also get it with the, the one we have in the carousel here. It comes with this other little keypad. So you can put this keypad on the outside to help you get in. Um, or you can just get in with your regular Not just key. a keypad, though. It's got your fingerprints. Oh, I'm thing sorry. It's it. got, oh, I forget about that. See, Valerie never talks about I never talk about the fingerprints because I, I don't I, don't I like think it. she filed her fingerprints off. That's one <laughs> So, All right. And then if you want to... Then we talked about... Nope, no. Oh, oh no, I'm no, sorry. No, no, it's out of order because we started up again, remember? Yeah. So this one here is cool. This is the SwitchBot Hub 2. Uh, it works uh, Wi-Fi to Bluetooth bridge, so it can talk to the lock and other SwitchBot devices. You access the whole thing then through the app on your uh, SwitchBot app. It is also Matter compatible. They just released it, so it does work with Matter. So we're just starting to test that out. But from your perspective, if you're hooking this up, it's this Bluetooth. It's going to talk to this, and then the Wi-Fi is going to talk to your app wherever you are in the yeah. world. So this you can get in and out with your phone or with the with keypad or the finger. If you want to unlock it and lock it over the Internet, you've got to get a, a hub like this. All right. All right. And then the next one is the Wise Lock Bolt. This was Mark's favorite lock. Yep. So the Wise Lock Bolt's pretty nice. It comes with a – it has a, a keypad and a, and a, a, touch, a patch, touch pad. And a fingerprint, right? Yep. And as you saw, it doesn't work for Valerie. No, it but she's work really me. fast at entering the code, which is <laughs> really good. And it's a very fast lock. I think you saw when we were running the app; it unlocked and locked really fast. Yeah, it's right? really it's, fast. It's one of the fast. I think it's probably the fastest lock we've tested. And the batteries last a long time, so it's a it's a solid lock. Uh, it's nice looking, and it works now. If uh, right, it's but. Bluetooth, so right, you know, if you just have the lock itself. Uh, you can unlock it with the keypad or with the finger if, you, if you're your not near it, or the Wise app near. if you're near it. But Wise just made some feature improvements yesterday. So if you have this doorbell, you can basically unlock your lock from far away with the Wise Video Doorbell Pro and its accompanying chime. Yes, yeah, so the chime is what does the bridging, by the way, not the actual, uh, not this guy. But you do need it, obviously, so that the app will come up. So you bring up the Wise app, then you enter the the uh, Wise Doorbell Pro uh, section, and there's a little you saw that little icon. You just pressed it, and the door unlocks. Yeah. So this is great. So if you're away from home and someone, you know, you want to let someone in your house, so they ring your doorbell, you see them on the screen, you're like, I guess I can let them in. You can do that right from the Wise Video Doorbell Pro app. Right, and the wise do just a little bit on because you, you probably wonder what the deal is on the doorbell. Is this one here is battery powered, and you can wire it to your doorbell wiring. So you got it one or the other, and uh, the battery lasts a long time. When we've been testing it, it's really lasts a long time. It's very nice, it's very solid, and uh, they give you a little mounting bracket. I, all these guys do it, but there's a mounting bracket, and you just hook it up. And and so those two you know, products so work together. Um, but if you want all in one, we just showed you the Eufy Security See Everything Smart Lock, the S330. And this one is a video doorbell and a smart lock all in one. And of course, in that Eufy app, you can 
you can lock and unlock the. Yeah, and it stays. All the, the videos get stayed stays in that door lock. Yeah, which is right? great. Which you is know, really you nice. don't have to upload them to the cloud, so that's great for privacy. Yeah. And uh, it's also a very quiet and very smart, uh, very fast lock. So it has a it has a great app that's got a lot of different options where you can set your codes. Uh, you can also do face recognition and things like that because it's got the video doorbell built in. So that's really cool if you want to combine your smart lock and your video doorbell all in one. And it has a battery pack that is a basically, I think it's a lithium ion, I'm not sure, but you can plug in a USB-C to it to charge it up. So you don't have to go buy a whole bunch of batteries anymore yeah. for it. it. It's really nice. And most importantly for Valerie. It works with my finger. Her, her thumb works. Yeah, my thumb works. Not my index finger, Not your but index my thumb. thumb. I think she screwed up, didn't file off her thumbprint. So, mm. so, but it is, it works good for you because it is nice to see that. So that one there, I think is probably, it's the one we just, we just got through reviewing yeah, it. Yeah, just finished and, reviewing uh, it. It's really nice. It installed very easy, uh, very nice lock. And if you need something that you want to put on your door and you see how it looks, then that's kind of the one that one to get. In fact, I think I can bring the picture up. Hold on a second. Yeah. You got about two minutes left, I think, here. Let me bring up the app. And if you're interested in learning more details about these smart locks, if you go to our storefront and you can see that on the Amazon Live, it'll say view our storefront. We have videos on every single one of these locks with the exception of the Obsidian. And um, we haven't finished the review on the SwitchBot, but we do have a first look of it on the on our page. So you can get more information about each one of these locks. So there it is. That's the, that's, oh, that's what, you, what see. you see from the video doorbell. Yeah, that's the app. And then of course I can just press this button here and it will unlock the door and I can press it again and I can relock it. So it's really nicely done. And, um, I think you need to press it a little harder, yeah, I know. but it also has a 2k camera in there. So it's a really nice so it looks, yeah, looking nice video doorbell. You can, see, can they see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. So it's pretty nice. And you can see the view because of where it is, you know, it, it has kind go. of a limited view in our application, but you know, this might be really good depending, um, you know, where you need to install it, how your door is set up, whether or not you have actually have a doorbell. Yep. I just finished. So it, it's a video doorbell and a lock all in one. It's really cool. Yeah, and that was the show, and that see it's unlocked. It's a little slower to unlock though when you're doing it this way. So it's uh, let's see, well, hit the lock button again. Let's see how fast it locks it. And this one's pretty quiet. It's actually kind of hard for us to hear it. We yeah. do the beep. Yeah, yeah. So it's so. really nice, smooth lock. We're really happy with this one so far. All right. Yep. Okay. So. All right. So that's it. That is our show on smart locks. We hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, if you haven't already, please follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. And um, I think that's it. That's it. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.